our answer is like um, very straightforward. <laughs> so, so, do you like my? Hi, I'm Zay, studying Bachelor's of Biomedical Science. I'm Grace, and I take the major of Computer Science and Information Technology. My name is Shri, I'm doing Bachelor's in Robotics and AI. My name is Hashini Patipen, and I'm doing Bachelor of Arts in Business and Marketing. Three STEM students and one non-STEM student answer three questions about their course. In order to win, the STEM students must correctly guess who the mole is. If it's a tie, the mole wins. Question 1. I would say that the course is very hands-on. The course is um, about thinking of logic. It's all about coding. Yeah. The course is a bit uh, electrifying. Contestant number 2. Who do you think the mole is based on this question? Mm. Choose a tray because our answer is like um, very straightforward. Question two. A lot of people think that our course is full of lab work. For example, we we looked into like diseases and the mechanism of action. Most people think um, my course don't have a lot of mathematics and it's about some writing. Some people may think that hard to like study this course. Uh, people think really hard to make something in real reality. I feel that contestant number three is the mole. I think it's two though. Was it the maths? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Question three. I would say it's, uh, it's a multimedia presentation where we have to either choose one way to talk about a specific disease to our audience. We have to think as like uh, what our audience would want to know about the disease. My group had a one assignment that was about May writing a gaming program. We had uh, one month left before the final exam, so we struggled so much. Uh, me and my other four members, we should create a problem on our own. Like we integrated cyber defense and forensics together. We had a tough time on it. We actually at last did it and got the best performance. It was a individual major project. We need to make something innovative being apart from which is being done in the existing world. Let's vote. Who thinks contestant number one is the mole? Please raise your hands. Contestant number two. Contestant number three. Contestant number four. Tiebreaker round. The vote has been made a tie. We have contestant number two and contestant number three for the tie as the mole. Now, I will give you guys some more time to convince each other to change your answers and we will go for voting again. So, so, do you like uh, 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 No. Uh, uh, I'm having a tough time on it. Tough time. Okay, sure. <laughs> what kind of jobs do you see yourself doing after the course? I actually took this course because it had um, high scope in it. But it's not my cup of tea now. Maybe in the future I'll take my job. I see myself as a major application. Let's vote again. So we're going to go into the final reveal. Our mole is not blindfolded. In three, two, one. You may take off your blindfold and see who the mole is. Dun, dun, dun. I am sorry, STEM students. The mole has won this round. Please give her a hand. It was actually nerve-wracking because everyone was suspicious of me even at the start because I was like clueless what to tell and I came up with words and everything I hear what they are telling I create an answer according to number two I just copy and just give the answers out I think she defines herself so much and I think she did so well I won't say it's challenging for me because I managed to guess the mole right out of the spot. Her answers to the questions were very vague. 
the game was quite exciting. Uh, I, I didn't expect the answers from each and every student's experience. It was quite wonderful.